Ishak Dar, welcome to Hard Talk. Thank you for inviting me. Let us begin with your personal status, your legal status. Sure. You are a wanted man in Pakistan. Are you here in London to escape the judicial process? Well, not, not really. I think uh, you must be aware of the Pakistan history, that whenever in Pakistan over a period of 73 years, the corruption rhetoric has been used in the last uh, few dictatorships. And the current one isn't different because this regime is known to be under a covert coup or a judicial martial law. So I, I can prove uh, that there is nothing against me and I have all the evidence. Uh, I hope that you know that the prime allegation against me, my name was not in Panama paper. My name was not in uh, the 20th of April. Let, let, let me stop you, because some people will not be following this uh, in, in great detail. Sure. You're saying <clears throat> your name was not in the Panama Papers. Nonetheless, sure. we learned an awful lot from those Panama Papers published in 2016 about sure. monies being stashed away in foreign bank accounts, and it involves some very top-level Pakistanis. And there was reason to believe that not just Nawaz Sharif's family was involved, but your family too. No, there, there isn't any mention of my family well, I'm all. not saying there was a specific mention of your family, but the <laughs> but national they, account Accountability Bureau decided after the publication of the Panama Papers to look very closely at yours and your family's interests, assets and accounts. Most welcome. And they found that there were grave uh, problems with no, your no, accounts. No, not at all. Not at all. Because you see, I'm sure that uh, you would be privy that it was the Supreme Court direction which set up a joint investigation team, which is extra judicial uh, activity which uh, Supreme Court decided. And there were two military intelligence members who are virtually governing out of the six members of the JIT. So you see there is a background.